بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ہوپ آل آف یو آر فائن ویلکم ٹو ایپ سکس آن لائن سپورٹ پروگرام آئی ایم یور بارجی ٹیچر اینڈ مائی نیم از فرا انجم دس از ویک ٹو ڈے ون اینڈ آر چیپٹر نمبر سکس دیٹ از اینزائم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ان پریویس لیکچر وی ہیو لرن دا ون فیکٹر دیٹ از ٹیمپریچر now here we are going to discuss the remaining two factors these are enzyme concentration and ph okay students there are many factors affecting enzymatic activity that is temperature water ph substrate enzyme inhibitors and product activators and radiations but but in your syllabus dear students only three of them are mentioned that is temperature enzyme concentration and ph we are going to recap our previous knowledge that is effect of temperature on enzyme activity so rate of reaction of an enzyme reaction changes at different temperatures here you can see a graph in which 37 degrees centigrade is an optimum temperature a uh, red line depicts or shows the optimum temperature if the temperature is above this uh, temperature then enzyme gets denatured okay the next fix, uh, factor that is mentioned here is ph here you can see a graph in which on y axis rate of enzyme activity is shown and on x axis different ph range is shown Our first point is that that enzyme in different locations have different optimum pH. Since their environmental conditions may be different, I explain this point that how different locations affect different have different optimum temperature. I I explain this point in next slide. Okay. Next point is that small changes in pH above or below the optimum do not cause a permanent change to the enzyme. Okay, since the bonds can be reform but however extreme changes in ph can cause enzyme to denature and permanently lose their function so slightly change uh, has no effect on enzymatic activity but extreme changes in ph can denature the enzymes got it as i have your uh, i have told you that in previous slide that enzyme in different locations have different optimum ph so here is the explanation that activity and shape of enzyme is also affected by ph basically enzymes prefer to work at an optimum ph outside of its ph range the enzyme is denatured um, uh, we have ph range that is uh, normal below than this seven uh, normal ph is acidic range and above this is the basic range above than seven is the basic range of pH The enzyme pepsin works best in acidic condition and here the mentioned enzyme amylase it works best in neutral pH and trypsin enzyme is an intestinal enzyme and it works best in basic condition I hope all of you have understood uh, understood the pH factor. Now come toward the next factor that is enzyme concentration. So the question is, what are the effects of enzyme concentration on the rate of enzyme catalyzed reaction? Effect of enzyme concentration: as the amount of enzyme increases, the rate of reaction increases. So it is a direct relation. but if there are more enzyme molecule than are needed adding additional enzyme will not increase the rate okay at certain limit the rate of reaction increases by increasing the amount of enzyme but when then uh, additional enzymes will not increase the rate reaction rate therefore increases as enzyme concentration increases but then it levels off so you can see the graph shown here that at certain limit its rate is increases but then it gets equilibrate 
so adding more enzyme will increase the rate of reaction more catalyst means a faster reaction so the reaction rate increases reaction rate is basically how much substrate reaction reacts in a particular amount of time usually per second okay we are going to review our lecture today we have learned about the temperature substrate concentration and ph now move toward the homework okay your homework is class factor affecting enzyme action question number 1 consider a graph below okay label the optimum temperature for the enzyme as a and label the point at which the enzyme has been completely denatured as b okay you just have to highlight on the graph that uh, where is the optimum temperature and where gets the enzymes gets denatured okay second question is that explain why the rate of reaction initially increases with temperature you have to answer this question question number 3 is the graph below shows rate of reaction data for two different enzymes one of these enzymes are found in the stomach and the other one is found in the mouth now what you have to tell you have to answer that which of these line is more likely to indicate the enzyme found in the stomach explain your answer so this is your assignment dear students submit your assignment on time if you have any question then ask thank you and have a nice day